Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your mid-May 2019 general reading. So it's a general reading, won't resonate with everyone who views the video, but if it does resonate, go ahead and click that like button. Uh, subscri subscribe to the channel, it's much appreciated. Let's jump right into this, okay? So, I started off with love. I'll do a quick spread for career and finance also, but for love. All right. Um, the overall energy is the high priestess. Secret plans, secret person, secrets. Um, having the idea to, to move forward. Putting the plan in action. Knowing that you're going to have to make a decision. Or you are making the decision to possibly go in a new direction. You you could be, or you were, torn in regards to your mental and your um, emotional state. But you know you've got to move. You've got to take action. You either got to grow where you are, or change course and grow somewhere else. Um, you're weighing up two very real options. The pros and the cons. Um, you're trying to figure out which one will, is most successful for you. Which decision. This could be you, Sagittarius, or someone around you. It could be Pisces, Aquarius. Mm hmm Okay. Um... So in the past, there there was a successful union, maybe with for the male Sagittarius, the mother of your children. There may have been problems in regards to this union, but someone was trying to just keep their head down and work on things and put the energy, effort, time into. Um, building something long lasting and solid something stable but then we jump into the present uh, what you tried to get away from in the past and, and by way of just trying to get along you know what is it get along to go along to get along or however that's that phrase goes it resurfaces and judgment is here the universe says you have to be final and definite about your decision about which way you're going because this is going to um really weigh heavily on the course whichever course you take it's going to be with you for a very long while so whatever you decide to do example here if you decide to stay in your marriage or you decide to stay with a company or you decide to stay in a business partnership um and it's already has its problems uh And maybe there are irreconcilable problems know that you have to be final with this decision am I walking away from or am I staying in because if you do choose to stay there's no guarantee that things are going to change you just have to accept the union for what it is um, some of you are trying to work on co-parenting go along to get along but either you Sagittarius or someone you're dealing with decided to make peace with the situation possibly move away from the home from the foundation of this relationship they might have taken the children with them because they they either want to 
have significant healing in their life. Or this is you, Sag. Someone made the judgment call to move away from the Sagittarius or vice versa, right? Um, but someone in this union wants to heal, the, restore it. Like, let's work on it. Let's get it back. And this has been a long time coming. Someone finally wants to offer true commitment, partnership. But there's someone else here who's completely confrontational about starting something new. They feel as if they need to speak their truth. They did something in haste. Somebody moved away from you in haste or, or vice versa. You moved away from someone else in haste. Because at, at one point, or maybe currently, the Sagittarius or the other person somebody moved away from you in haste because you have this type of energy, or vice versa. The Knight of Wands, you're hot and you're cold, your passions run high but not deep <clears throat> so you could want one thing today and another the next day in which you may have brought this person a lot of heartbreak and heartache there could have been somebody who was in and out keeping options open uh, it used to be the two of swords the the relationship but now it's three someone else's heart is pierced by another sword they share affection for um someone else or something else hence that there may be divorce or separation here Someone wants to divorce themselves from this love affair that is just not getting them what they want. That's just not favorable. That is, is causing them a lot of mental anguish or has. They want to heal or the Sagittarius wants to heal the relationship. Um, in the near future, we have the Five of Fire, Five of Wands. Three of Wands, there's some communication about the trouble, the jealousy, the rumor surrounding <clears throat> a particular relationship. Maybe about the other person. Someone is choosing to just press forward alone. Even in the midst of heartbreak or heartache. Even in the midst of them soaking over a situation. This could be you, Sag. Someone is moving forward in the near future by themselves, choosing themselves because this is irreconcilable. The cups are spilled. They understand that they're going to have to make the choice. They the Five of Cups in the Temperance card, this says that somebody, one party wants to salvage the relationship, the other party just wants to heal from it. They understand there's no coming back in which someone is trying to gain independence here. Completely transform their life outside of this ending. Let's see if the Sag wants to come back to this person or is it the other way around. 
The overall energy is the page of air, the page of sword. Short, blunt communication. Short messages. There could be somebody spying. Seven of Swords here. Somebody was deceptive. Uh, they didn't care about the union. They cared about what they can get. They cared about themselves. They cared about how they allowed interference. Well, whoever or whatever that may be for you, they allowed interference to disturb a committed union. Eight of Pentacles. They allowed interference to disturb the marriage or the commitment that you two were working on. Either you, Sag, allowed, you know, other people you know, a third party to disturb your work that you need to do in this marriage. Page of cups um yeah it could have been a younger water sign cancer pisces scorpio the queen of swords um someone but there's an unforeseen event that's going to take place here change, upheaval, and commitment. Someone um, is being very deceptive and with two women if someone was trying to manipulate Mental manipulation by way of using the kids. Their children in between us. Let's see what the cards have to say for career and finance for the Sag. And then we're going to go over to my website and clarify. And see what the advice is for the Sag. And if this is resonating with you. Got Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius on the board, uh, Pisces. Let's see. I also saw the Devil, so Capricorn. So there'll be a, a new start, a new motivational take action. I'm concerned about my health, wealth, and happiness. Start in your career. Maybe after separation, maybe after gaining insight in regards to what it is you need to do. It's like you now you're just invigorated. It, is that a word? Invigorated. Um, <laughs> there's invigoration, I guess. Um, you're vibrant, and, and there's there's um. Somebody's go. Somebody take a break from like growing a, a a business or growing spiritually. You know they're back. What that's about. Yeah. Um. They're back. They took a break and they looked at things and now they're back with the plan of action. Uh, a course here. What course are you taking? You may be back. You may have taken a break from trying to grow 
something a business or grow in your your company you took a you went on holiday you went on a vacation you were missed definitely yeah loving messages of your absence yeah now you're reconciling with whatever it is you do I don't know if you'll be back for good or for long maybe a new start whatever this is it looks like it's maybe spiritual Some of you, uh, you took a break to rest, recuperate. There's a, some, a death, either spiritual death or physical death that rocked you completely. But now you're back to being concerned about your stability, yourself, your health, inner and outer. It looks good. Career looks good. Might be new contracts here for you. Might have to weed through what you don't want to do. New partnerships. Listen to your intuition in regards to monetary um, undertakings. Okay. So let's go over to the website and figure this out. In regards to love and then career and finance, it just looks like you're you're fresh back from a break. You took a break, and now you are um, just getting back into it. There's some new undertaking, so that's good. All right, um, thank you, Sad, for tuning in. Um, the link is below to purchase the extended read is only two dollars to gain a bit more clarity about your situation if it's resonating with you thus far um know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well take care guys